Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to sharpen your tools. Before we start, let's have a look why a chisel or other tool doesn't cut anymore. If you have a look to the tool from the side, you will see that there is an angle between the two sides of the edge of the tool. If you could have a look to the edge with a microscope, you would see that the edge is not a corner, but it's round. No matter how sharp a tool is, the edge will always be round. This is because of the molecules of the material are also round. The difference between a sharp tool and a blunt one is that this round arc is smaller. This angle also affects how sharp a tool is and how well it stays sharp on the long term. A small angle results to a sharper tool, but not so durable. At the other hand, a large angle makes a more durable bevel, but the tool won't be so sharp. To sharpen your chisels, planes and gouges, you need two tools. A grinder, like this one, and a stone, like the one that I have here. There are two types of grinders, the wet ones and the dry ones. The wet ones that you can see in this picture have a small bucket that you have to fill up with water. They use that water as a kind of lubricant and to cool down the tool that you are sharpening. They work at a slower RPM, so you will need more time to sharpen your tool. The dry ones, like the one I have here, don't use water obviously, work at a higher RPM and so may burn your tool easier. That's why I have also a small bucket of water here to cool my tools down. The grinder has this surface which you can use to support your tool. You can move it to change the angle of the bevel. The stone of the grinder has to be flat otherwise the edge won't be nice and straight. To maintain the surface nice and straight, keep moving your tool to the right and the left so that you use the whole width of the stone. There are also special tools that you can use once in a while to flatten the stone. As the gouges are round, you cannot use this surface to support them. You can support your hand and then you will have it to do it a bit freestyle, let's say. There are also other kinds of accessories that you can buy uh, to support and help. Otherwise, you can keep practicing if you do it several times at a certain point you get handy and then it goes much easier. Also, when you are using this kind of grinders, the dry ones, don't forget to protect your ears with earplugs or a headphone like this and your eyes with glasses. The wet ones don't need any protection as they don't make so much noise and they don't make any sparks. Now when you are about to start sharpening your tool, the first thing to do is to adjust this surface, the support. In this way you will obtain the angle that you desire. Okay, now the support is correct. Let's put on the protection. I don't hear anything anymore. Now this is how you want it to look when it's ready. If your tool looks a bit like this, then you have been doing something wrong. You were not moving the tool only left and right, but also a bit up and down, and that's not how it should be. Now as the stone is rough, also the edge of the tool now is a bit rough. If you would look to it with a microscope, you would see that it looks more like a saw than with a knife. That's why we are going to finish it with this kind of stones, which are much smoother than the grinder. There are also different types of stones. There are natural ones, like the one I have here. And these have also two types, ones that are working with water, like mine, and one that you have to use oil. Not big differences, the rest works on the same way. And there are other stones, which are not stones exactly, exactly. they have diamonds. Everything that I say is the same for all the stones. In general, you will need two different stones with two different grids, a finer and a router one. The one I have is a double one, 
the darker side is router and is a grid of about 1000 and the light one is about 6000. Also this stone has to be flat, otherwise if it's curved also your tool will become curved. You can use a piece of sandpaper on a table or on a nice flat surface to make them flat in again once in a while. The wet stones like this one have to be wet of course. That's why you can put it for 10 to 20 minutes in a bucket of water as I did before you start sharpening your tools. If you put water on them when they are dry all the water goes inside so uh, you cannot work. It has to get some water in it so it stays wet. To sharpen the tool you start with the dark side and then go to the lighter one. And on this stone you have to go on both sides. The back side but also the front side. And now that the whole width is polished, we can go to the other side, but I have to make it a bit wet again. And this side will give the final polish. Be always careful not to move the tool in this side as you will make the edge round again. And this is how you want your tool to look at the end, with two shiny parts at the outer parts of the bevel and the bit router middle one. For the gouges you will also need a small round stone for the inner part. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the upcoming videos. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you the next time again. Bye bye!